Go grab your project. It's Sunday. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly and I'm a crocheter here in New Brunswick, Canada. And it's Sunday. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. If you're a mother or if you're not a mother and you love your mother or you have someone in your life that's like your mother, just happy Mother's Day to everyone. Um, even to the single dads that have to do it all. You know what I mean? So anyways, today we are crocheting together and I am working on my sweater that goes this way. I can leave the link to that in the comments, I think. If you haven't been following along, that's fine. You don't need to know. You just grab your stuff. We're, we're going to chat and crochet together because if you're running a spawn business, especially, you don't have a lot of time just to sit and make something for yourself. So this is our time together where we take like 30 minutes and have a chat and crochet together. So I decided that every Sunday video is going to have something I've crocheted. And here is Anne. I cannot make, wait to make an Anne doll in my big doll form. So excited. I'm gonna make an Anne and a Anne doll. How cool is that? And these flowers, they are from my mother-in-law for Mother's Day. So I had a few tulips left from my last market. And then I have a few other little flowers in there, so and we have to wait for our middle boy to have a Sunday off so we can go visit her. So let's get to work. So I'm still doing 30 rows of double crochet and I've only got two, maybe nine rows done now. So we're going to be here a while. I said that in the last video that we were going to be here a while. Oh, excuse me. I've been up since the crack of dawn working on a doll, which I don't want to talk about because this doll is testing my patience. So let's not talk about that right now. You're here to listen to my cool news that I got this last week. It seems like two weeks in a row. Like I'm sharing my Sunday video with you about something for my doll business so <clears throat> excuse me let's get into it i'm super pumped super excited and i'm still kind of shocked and i still just can't believe that people are loving my dolls as much as i do and getting like tons of feedback from customers and it's just it's so nice to hear so, this week, this last week, I had known that, uh, well, a while back, let's backtrack, a while back, I had made 16 dolls for an elementary school, and I can put that in the comments as well, if I can remember. I gotta learn out how to figure out how to do the cards. That would be even better, but for now, this will do. So they got 16 dolls and loved them. And last month, the lady had reached out to me and said that we wanted a few more dolls with your special items on them. So like I've made like the cast and the glasses and the insulin pump and the eye patch and I'll put those in the comments as well. We would like to have two different dolls like that. So I'm like, okay, cool, I can put you in. She's like, it has to be done. We have to spend the money before like the second week of June. So I'm like, okay, no problem. I can squeeze. I'll put you in. I've got plenty of time to get those dolls made for you before the second week of June. So that was fine. And I thought, oh, that's great. They love the dolls. They want two more. Perfect. Well, she messaged me this last week and was like, so we're going to need 13. Thirteen dolls. Thirteen dolls. And I started crying. 
$13. Like, I was only expecting to make two, and now you want 13 because you guys love them so much. So, I was like, okay, I will get those done for you guys. And they're going to write me up some testimonials about their dolls. I'm hoping, like, they can ask the I'm going to ask them if they can ask the kids what they think of the dolls. They don't need to give me names, just like what kids say. And I know a girl whose daughter is in that kindergarten class and she talks about these dolls all the time. So I love hearing that. So I'm pretty much on like cloud nine because of this $13 order, <laughs> but it gets better. Like, Two days later, I, like, I have two different emails. So I have my, my email that I just have had a long time. And, like, that's how I get people to send me the pay for their, for their orders, that sort of thing. And then I have my yarn around with Kelly at gmail.com. So if you need to email me, you can email me, email me there. And that's, what I use for this YouTube channel as well. So I was checking that one day because I was waiting to hear back from a order that I got for clip on earrings. Yes, clip on earrings because I am never getting my ears pierced again. Horrific, horrific experience. Okay. So I looked in there because I wasn't sure where she was going to message me and I pop up from the, this weird sounding bookstore and I'm like, okay, what did I sign up for? Cause I don't remember using this email to sign up for a bookstore or a thing. So it was a bookstore, a book on a bookshop owner, a used bookshop owner in St. John, New Brunswick. And we are in Fredericton. So like two hours away, if we drive the speed limit, um, <clears throat> she does fundraising for this specific school in their town. So she says she's in charge of finding like multicultural items because the school wants to diversify and have more like um, multicultural toys in their classrooms. So she had seen my Instagram page, which I'm not good at Instagram. I'm old enough to be considered like a Facebook person, <laughs> not an Instagram person. I send people to my Instagram account when they're ordering dolls so they can say, okay, look through my feed, tell me what you like, and then we can talk kind of a thing. So she had seen my Facebook or my Instagram page and she sent it to this school and the school told her to get a hold of this girl, me, and see if we can work out some wholesale type dealie. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I immediately wanted to share this. So I called my husband because it was like break time for him and I was like crying crying on the phone because I was so excited and like I had to like get my middle boy to watch the daycare kids in the living room they were just watching a show anyways before we went to get my son but I like I was hyperventilating <laughs> I was so excited and I just needed like it was super windy so I just needed like that shock to my lungs and face <laughs> so I had to go outside to like just be able to breathe I was just so like I was in shock in so much shock that this was happening that I haven't even had to reach out to people yet in the schools I've already got two people who reached out to me so I came back in, I had a few minutes left. I drafted up this like Facebook post cause I was so excited and I just wanted to share the news with people. And I did that on Thursday and I still have people commenting and saying that they're so proud and they're so excited and they're sharing my posts. Like I'm pretty sure it's up to 150 likes or hearts or whatever and probably 
at least 30 comments and then having people like send me private messages and wow like the support that I feel for my dolls is overwhelming and then I come on to here and people are like, I need to buy your doll or I need that pattern so I can make those dolls. And it just makes me so happy that people want to purchase these dolls and that people want to make these dolls to give out. And I'll say it and I say it in every video. I am working on a pattern, but I just I don't have the time to get it done right now. Like I am very, very behind right now. I, yesterday I went on a play date with my son, my youngest son, and I called them the triplets because his two friends, I used to take care of them. They're twins and Noah and the twins are like two or three days apart in the age. So I call them my triplets. I love these two kids a boy and a girl so and I love their mom their mom is one of my really good friends um, <laughs> so it, we took the triplets to the park and I was like can I bring my crochet with me because I'm behind and she's like yeah no problem I, I'm like I can still talk and crochet it's no big deal she's like yeah yeah you know I know you're busy so anyways thank you Stephanie you are a godsend let me sit and crochet with you. Uh, that's comfort right there. Being able to whip out your hooks and your yarn and get to work in front of people. That's, that's comfort. Anyway, so like I had to take my crocheting with me to go on a play date to try to catch up. And then my husband and I, we had to run out to get my earrings were ready. So we had to drive like 20 minutes away to go get my earrings and then we went and stopped and got pizza for the kids for supper because I just didn't feel like cooking. Um, so yeah, so I get like super seasick and nauseous while we're in the car and I'm crocheting. I don't know why and I've seen people with those glasses with the waters. They look like levelers. I think I'm gonna have to try those because you know I could be I'm missing out a great opportunity of crocheting being stuck in the car on errand days right so uh, I I did that I got a lot of work done while we were traveling because we were out for almost an hour and a half picking up the earrings and getting the pieces and that so I'm just been like I'm just trying to catch up I am still working on an order and this is the this is the part that you guys will understand I got this doll completely done and I sent a picture to the customer they did not like the hair it is my job to create the doll that they want they are paying for a service and I need to provide that so I had to rip his hair out and his hair took me three hours to make. Mm, I was so sad because that was like, I should have finished that project last night and I'm still working on it today. So I'm like even more behind. And now that I've got that $13 order, like, I'm even more behind. I had to cancel the Father's Day market that I was supposed to go to because I just don't have time to work on market makes. Like, I'm so far behind. But I will be doing a video of things I would have made for the Father's Day market. So I'll still, I'll still put that out for you guys. Um, but that's the thing, right? We need to be able to give. And if we're offering a specific thing we have to follow through they have to like what they're paying for I have no problem fixing a mistake or doing something a different way that's that's not what I'm getting at it's just you know that doll took like he was almost done and now I'm gonna have to spend 
another four hours to fix his hair and it was just so sad ripping his his hair cap off last night and she's like oh so I, I better look through and uh, make sure that I should tell you what doll hair I want for the girl because she ordered two and I was like oh hold on I sent her a picture of the hair and I'm like okay her hair took about six hours she's she's ready <laughs> oh luckily she liked the hair for the girl so didn't have to take oh I would have just had to stop that order and just make for a new doll because her hair just turned out oh I did a new technique for myself and oh, I just love how her hair turned out I'm gonna have to show you guys because it's beautiful it's beautiful hair you're gonna love it it's just I did it a different way so anyways, that's the part of being a maker, right? We, we're, we're perfectionists to begin with. And, you know, we want to give people what they want because we want good reviews. We want them to keep coming back for more orders. So it's a learning lesson. I did learn from this mistake. I'm going to, from now on, make sure people go to my Instagram page and check out what they like before I even talk to them because that could have saved me a lot of time. Um, I mean, there, I've had a few little things pop up while working on custom orders that I, you know, it's helping me get better at my business and to grow my business a lot better. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to remember and I'm going to move along and just try to do my job a lot better so that I don't have to rip dolls apart. Those poor babies. I was so sad. I was so sad. I cried. I'm like, oh my gosh, this poor baby. His hair is gone. <laughs> so anyways, you guys know. You guys know what it's like when we have to frog something. I was quite pleased with how he turned out, but you know, that's the that's the thing when you when you put yourself out there to make custom makes we have to give the people what, what they want so it's a learning curve <sighs> so that was that was my excitement my big excitement um i will share okay my youngest son is noah and he is in grade three and he has caught the maker bug like the want to be an entrepreneur bug at the age of eight and uh, he's like he got us we went to the dollar store I had to buy a few things and he got me to buy him some canvases and that and he wants to draw pictures and paint pictures to sell when I go to the market and I love that but he wants to sell them for a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> so I had to be like, you know, when mommy first started out, I had to, do, to price my items quite low. And now I can, you know, I'm more confident. I have more following that I can make my stuff for a little bit more price. Um, so he's, I told him the next time I go to a market that yes, he can come and he can set up his little side thing but I'm so scared that he's not going to make one single sale so that might be heartbreaking for him so I'll have to figure out how to talk to him after that but we went to a store here in our city and I got a <clears throat> stitch perler bead ornament and those are quite popular right now and I told him I said, why don't we go to Michael's? So we're going to go to Michael's today because I have to pick up yarn for a poncho I got to work on. And I said, why don't we look at those? And you can make those because people love them and you can do all these different things and you can sell and make money that way because there's a toy he really wants and it's like $70 plus tax. And, you know, he just got a bike for grading so he's not getting anything else um the bike was the big gift and he got it early because we wanted to make sure he could ride his bike before summer but 
anyway so we're gonna go do that later today we're gonna go and look at some curler bead sets and he can do that that'll be a good way to keep him busy in the summer while i'm crocheting because i plan on taking four weeks off before i start applying for jobs because i just i need to i'm relaunching and rebranding and i know i'm gonna have like a ton of orders so you know money might be a little bit tight but all we gotta do is just scale back a little bit and we'll be fine so it's not like the end of the world and I'll be able to get a lot of things done so that hopefully in the fall I can set myself up because I would like to open up an Etsy shop and get a pattern written out and all that stuff because in the fall my youngest will be back in school in grade four and then I'm hoping our middle boy gets full time, full time, William, that's our, my middle boy. I'm hoping he gets a full time position at his store, which he thinks he can by the way he's talking to his managers about it. So I will have lots more time. My middle boy, William, has Asperger's. So he is a bit needs, um, he, he needs attention too and he loves to talk and sometimes it's hard to talk when you're counting stitches because that's how I do my dolls like I have a certain number that I count over and over again <laughs> it's so easy to lose your spot when somebody's talking to you so I'll be able to have more time to get stuff done this fall all right we are at 20 minutes of me just rambling here so I just want to finish this row off. So let me know in the comments what you were making today while you sat down with me. Are you celebrating Mother's Day today? Um, I am a mother. I have three boys. Julian is 21. William is 18. And Noah is 8. And then we have two cats, Joby and Salvatore. And we have two guinea pigs, Thunder and Teddy Bear. And we have a girl hamster, Daisy. So, a mom of many. Because <laughs> I come up for those babies. Don't we all? We gotta count those four babies. Actually, the the cats are locked in the bedroom because they have been tipping stuff over, chasing each other. One of our cats is going to be 10, and I worry that he's going to not be here. And then he acts like a kitten. So we had to lock them up because they were like rip roaring through here. They're fine. They're in a bedroom on a cozy bed. There's blankets down. They love blanket nests. So... Yeah, so let me know what you're making and let me know if you guys have any questions you want me to answer because I feel like I'm just rambling about myself and I'm having to come up with the conversation, which is fine. It's totally fine. I can probably just share about my week here on Sundays, but if you have any questions you'd like me to answer, that would be great. Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget, if you are just here visiting, why don't you come on over and subscribe? Because I've been doing videos since March 14th, and it is May 14th, and I am at like 314 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. I would love to be monetized just to say I accomplished something. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah. So, if you're just visiting, why don't you go and hit that subscribe button and come back and check out my videos and let me know what you think because I don't know. I just make videos and if I got to know if you guys like that or what you want to see, what do you want to see? What do you want to... What do you want me to do like 
I am game. I would love to make more videos. I already put out three a week. Plus I do my shorts. But I would totally love to do more videos. I just don't know what to do. So this one is coming out today on Sunday. I have a video of dolls that is coming out on Tuesday. So I got to finish those troublemaking dolls. And then um, I don't know what I'm going to do for Thursday's video. So I guess it'll be a surprise to me. All right, I'm just going to show you those, that doll and that stitch, and then we can wrap this up. Drop Dan over for Annie. There you go. She had her hat. I don't know where her hat went. All right, here's the perler bead stitch. Isn't he freaking cute? So my husband got me this from Mother's Day. And so, of course, I had to contact my friend. She makes these. And I was like, okay, I need a D and D themed one for my husband for Father's Day. So got that. Here's the doll. Like, I'm pretty proud of this doll and her hair. Like, that's the back of her hair. And here's the front. <laughs> Isn't that freaking gorgeous? Like, she looks like she has a full head of hair, but she doesn't. It's only two layers. But I did it a different way and I'm so excited because it turned out so nice. Usually I put the top on first, but I was like, oh, I'm going to try doing the bottom first. So I made the bottom in little sections so I could sew it down really nice. And then I did the top. And I love it. Like, look at that curl. Like, it's just beautiful. So, she just needs her eyes. She needs to be able to see. But, yeah, I love the hair. Like, and that's why I need wooden dowels in their heads. Because <laughs> sometimes you get hair like this. And my husband, who is a huge nerd, he's like, oh, that would be, like, Medusa-worthy hair. And I was like, I could probably do that. But I didn't put any curl on this. I just did long half double crochets. And it kind of spung up like that. So I could make it even curlier. So anyways, thank you so much for watching today. Spending another Sunday with me. I really like these videos. And it seems like you guys really do too. Sorry it went over a little bit. But I got chatty. And... Sometimes that happens. So let me know what you want to see for some videos. Give me some ideas because I feel like I'm just showing the same things over and over again. So that's why I put out that Thursday night what I did video because I'm like, I need something a little different. Anyways, I'm going to go feed my family some lunch and then go to Michael's and get some yarn and check out some Purler beads with my son. And then I'm going to come home and have a lovely nap. And then my boys will all be here for supper, which I'm so excited because I love my boys. They drive me crazy, but I love them. So I guess that's what they're here for, right? To drive us crazy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Sorry I'm rambling. I know I get this way a lot of times. So have a great Sunday. Have a great day whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And look, I'm going to do some end credits. I'm so excited.